What's up guys? The next video in this series of eccentric methods is going to be on the hanging band technique. So basically this is a way of introducing more instability to a lift as a great method for cleaning up your bar path and increasing your active stability during a lift. So this is a great alternative for people who don't have access to things like a bamboo bar or a tsunami bar. All you need is a kettlebell or weight plates and some resistance bands and then you can hang them from the edges of the bar and basically create the same effect that you would get with something like a tsunami bar. So if we just go over to Naomi here, she's going to take her resistance band. You can tie it a load of different ways however you want, but she's just going to double it over, feed it through the handle of a kettlebell and then double it over and put it on the bar. Now, the one thing you want to make sure is that when you're setting it up, you don't want to put it too close to the uprights so or the squat rack or the bench or whatever you're using, because when they do move around, you don't want them hitting on the rack and then putting you off there. So now that Naomi's set up, she's just going to demonstrate a couple of reps for us so we can see what happens. Now, on lifts where we have to pull the bar out of a rack, the best thing to do is unrack it and just wait a second or two, because basically the kettlebells or the plates are going to move around once you unrack it. You're going to give them a second or two to stabilize and then she's going to bring it down in a nice controlled manner aiming to keep the tempo the same on the way down and then basically having the goal of have the kettlebells move around as little as possible throughout the lift now th this method works very well on the bench press and also on the squat because basically any deviation from your optimal bar path is going to be exaggerated by the movements of the kettlebell just do one more for me now that's it and then slam it back in the rack Awesome, thank you. So we've got kettlebells hanging from here, but it could just as easily be a weight play or something like that. One thing to take into account is how you tie the band or what band you use. So the lower that this is hanging relative to the bar, the more unstable this is gonna be. So if you want the same weight to be less stable and more difficult to do, you could use a thinner band or you could tie the band in a different manner so that the weight is hanging lower. The other thing to take into account is actually how much weight you have hanging from the bar. In most circumstances, we're looking to use say 20 to 30% of the total load to be hanging from the bar. But it's gonna depend on what phase of your training you're in. So for example, if Naomi had like 100 pounds on the bar, we'd have 20 or 30 pounds of that in total hanging from the bar. Now, there can be a point of diminishing returns here where you get so much of the weight hanging from the bar that the weight you can use becomes so low it doesn't have as good of a carryover. So we would generally never use more than 40 or 50% of total hanging weight, and that would generally be done really early in the training phases where tempos are very slow or we want the loads to be lower on purpose, or if it's someone who's really struggling with the technique or the motor control of a lift. As we go through the training phases, we probably then reduce that to say 10 or 20%, and we'd use that for like technical work then on the main lifts.